Hey everybody, this is Barry Knight coming back to you guys with a new campaign for the Storm Kings. Recently, you guys asked and requested if I could do a Storm Kings campaign within the Age of Petty Kings, and I thought, why not? Might as well do it. So, that is what we're going to be doing today. And if you all don't mind, grab a chair, grab a drink, take a seat around the warm fire, and let's begin. I'm not quite sure who we begin with, but I know we'll have a great general just like every other faction, and we'll have to kind of find our little niche within the kingdoms, since the Storm Kings are kind of surrounded by a ton of little factions. Unlike House Redwine, where I was on my own little island going, Hey everybody, you can't kill me, suck it. Now I'll just go, Hey everybody, uh, don't kill me please. <laughs> Blah, 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 stuff, credits, thank you team, rise of the four kingdoms. In response to continued aggression by the Storm Kings, Houses Mertens, Wild, Toth, and Estremont have banded together into the kingdom of the Narrow Sea. Though each king will maintain his crown, High King Arglin the fourth, or fifth, or sixth, or something, <laughs> sorry about that, Estremont shall lead the council in deciding the realm's matters. Already, many of the Storm King's recently conquered bannermen are growing restless, seeing an escape from the Storm King's oppression. Well, I guess we'll have to deal with these fools. So we'll only, we're only at war with them, and our uh, neighbors would be House Massey, and I believe Volmont's over this way-ish. So those are our only two direct neighbors. I'd say House Darkline's over over there in Duskendale as well. So we'll just have to watch out for that. So, our family tree only consists of two guys. Really? You're 63? Dude, make some children fast, please. Anyways, Crown of the Stormlands and Firm. That's not good. No bueno. No bueno. Okay, how's your son looking? Born to command. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Dramatic visions. Certainly are dramatic. Waving his arms about and swooning like a besotted girl while the Almighty sends word. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I will keep you, my friend. Your orders, okay, one. so we've got the garrison at the capital. I was kind of hoping they'd have the Stormland Greatswords from the vanilla version, but can't have everything, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Probably getting that one experience, that'll be helpful. Get you guys recruiting. I'll just get some men-at-arms and some crossbowmen at all the castles to start with. And, uh, Lord Cunnington is actually pretty old, but he's got good command, so that'll be helpful. Yes, Lord. So we're going to take my heir with honor. down over here. And we've got quite a big budget, so I'm going to hire some cell swords And the warrior sons, just because they're badass. And we're going to jump on the ship, and we're going to wait a turn to go over to Tarth. Just to get the name Swan into the family, I would totally do that, but I cannot. Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. Your orders, noble one. So Renly, the Prince of the Narrow Sea, my lord. and Brian Toth. Well, I think it'd be a good start to get our first battle going, so Go we're going to fight this on the map. And the more men that we kill of theirs, the better, or the less casualties we'll take when uh, taking their castle. So I suppose we'll just do this for the greater glory of the campaign. Saving our men, you know, we're actually trying to be honorable for once. <laughs> yeah, not really. Well, yeah, I suppose we are. So, 
Okay, so we got both of our outriders. Okay. Oh, they can all make stakes, that's nice. I did not know that. Put the pikemen over there. The and enemy have begin. brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. It's kind of confusing the way I grouped these guys up. I don't know why I grouped them like that. Let's ungroup. Ungroup. <laughs> and there we go. Group 1 is on the left. Group 2 is on the right. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Exactly. Okay, we'll get our pikemen going towards their cavalry. Beautiful charge, men. Beautiful. Exquisitely done. Exquisite. Oh, baby. Raking in the kills. Almost 100 kills with that one charge. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to hold back their cavalry with that unit. Bring in my extra cav to support. Just in case. Not like we're worried or anything. Guys, stop charging. Just take it like men. Okay. Okay, pull back. If they don't, you know, break, that'd be great. And then we'll charge in with those guys and these guys as well. We'll just pull back the Outriders for now. We'll get the Warrior Sons going in on these Archers. So then they get a good powerful charge in. Only half and the these guys are completely remain. annihilated. Nice job, sons. The enemy general. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and hold Come on, our... capture the bastard. Victory capture him. Let's go, hour. guys. Come on. He's fighting to the end. Okay. That's good. Our men have captured the enemy general. Now we can ransom Hunt the bastard. Well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Okie dokie, now we're going to come to this hill. We're going to go for the other part of their army. Princely Prince, get your ass over here, please. <laughs> Okay, we got those the guys enemy set up. Flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. And now the entire garrison is ready to go. Now we'll just speed it up a little bit. Capture the those fools. Is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, here they are coming in with their Levers. Okay, so I already got these guys up here, so get my archers moving their butts. Get you guys moving faster. And I want these guys over here. Move it, man, move it. We'll attack from the front and we'll flank at the same time with the left side. And then on the right side, we'll just do... We'll pretty much just wing it on the right side. Alright, we're in position on the left and we shall attack now.
Wonderful timing. Get out of the way. Nope. Well, not perfect, but it'll do. Get those guys. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Hey. Get in there and do something. Okay, where's the other group of cavalry? Oh, they're over there too. Awesome. These guys got some experience, so get out of there before you die. Experienced chevrons are not cheap. Thank you very much. To praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. And we are ready to face you whenever, fools. Okay, archers redirect. I don't understand. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. They just readying themselves, I suppose. Okay, well, this has been a bad venture. At least on that part. I may have directed the wrong set of men for a second there. Dudes, 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 what are you doing? That was a terrible charge, but I guess they're all dead, so good good job, good job, man. Okay, we get my pikes in there, and they are finished. But they're holding up pretty well against us, I'm surprised. They lost, what, like, seven guys? Pretty good, pretty good cavalry, jeez. Now where are these guys? Okay. You guys get over there, we're gonna have you ready to capture the rest of the bodyguard in case they decide to escape. And we're closing in about you. You're being closed in around. Alright, we're riding you down. You're dead. Outriders. Kill him. Kill him. Kill, 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 kill. Go, 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 go. Seriously? You guys are outriders for Pete's sake. Oh well. We won! All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. 105. For those outriders, 112 for the pikemen. Jeez, those pikemen were handy. That's why the mercenaries pay to half. They're very good, and you want to spend the money to get good stuff. <laughs> the value out of the price. They might be expensive, but you can expand pretty darn quick. It's just the matter of loyalty that you got to worry about. <laughs> well, let's ransom him. Nope. And we pretty much won. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Yes, Lord. Do, do, do. God will be with us, men. To battle. Well, that was fun. A most honorable victory, <laughs> my noble lord. They don't Our like me. Oh, darn. Yours, my lord. Yeah, look at that. More command and experience.
Good job, son. Okay, so these two knuckleheads got their whatever stuff, Lord of something. Their lordly titles were granted, finally. Okay, so with my king, who has four stars, which is still not bad, he would have eight stars if he was full. You know, good stuff. I have him move out. Your orders, noble one. We That's right, his movement speed's gone down quite a bit. Let's see. Cunnington's gonna be a good asset in order to, you know, equal the balance that was lost. Yes, my lord. Quit that, you damn schooner. Yes. Hide in our port. Full you will be safe. Do another turn and we will be very safe. My only worry is that even falls is gonna be like the, the battleground, the main battleground. Like I'll leave and then they'll come back and take it back and then I'll have to go back there and keep fighting for it and it'll just be very annoying. <laughs> yes, the sun! Thank the gods. Yes, Lord. Wow, this we is going to be a very slow My march. Lord, the troops here. An honor to serve. Dude, I think we're going to replace you with Cunnington, and then, yeah, that's going to be lots better. Yes, my lord. We cannot sail there. Okay, we're going to hide over here in this yes, little alcove, and then we're going to move the prince over to their little... Uh, I don't know what they call it. It's like... We're just going to move him over here, okay? It's been a long day, trust me. Darkline and Manderly usually don't get it going this early in the game. So that's that's definitely new. An honor to serve. Okay, man. You shall stay. And... Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. We need all the men we yes, can handle. Why did it well fight do that? Did, you guys all saw that. That was complete. Why? Why did that even? Just consider Noble that. Lord, an honor to serve. Okay, get out of my army. Move your orders, one. Okay, we're going. Lord. Make camp, men. Going for the here. inland. My lord, resting the troops here. Your orders? And, uh, oh, pretty sure their castle's right there, but, eh. And we're out of money, so, nothing new, nothing's changed. Oh yeah, I recruited all those troops in Fellwood and Bronzegate, so I can move them south. And we're so lucky we did yes. not get attacked on this ship. AI, thank yes, you, Lord. you're so nice. Noble Lord. Okay. You guys. Actually, I want Felwood to keep those guys, and then I'll take you guys. Yes, Lord. Your Majesty. Your orders, Noble One. Cunnington, yes. move down. Make camp, men. We rest here. And we shall have. Command me. Orders. Talk is cheap. Come face me. You know what? Let's just do that. We march to battle. Now we got some major reinforcements. The enemy are an honor to serve. And are you a night fighter, my friend? Yes, you are. Very good, very good. Okay. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Oh my gosh. So there's the prince and then a wild. Should we do a second battle within the turn of the century or should we night battle? Well, night battles. A little bit better on our side. Man, I like I like their little turtle for the Esterman sigil. It's so the color scheme just kind of works, you know. Just I like it. Very good. Unless we fought all of their men at once. I will admit we do not have the best infantry to face these guys, but we do have more cavalry than they do. 
I want to fight this battle as it is, but we will do it next time so then we do not go completely overboard on this episode. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all next time, and if you have any suggestions on what I should do or where I should go, like if I should be crazy and go up north to the Starks and say, hey, do you want some help with killing off the Boltons and the Dustins? I'll help you. You know, just give me something crazy to work with after I'm done with the Estermonts, and we'll run with that. Thank you all, and I'll talk to you all next time. Very night out.